Why can't you keep the camera still? I'm just going to say, <laughs> when somebody recommends a boondock spot, it gives you a... Coordinates? Coordinates. Maybe a little more research should be done before just taking Hold it still. Hold it. it still. Because after the, like, four mile... Uh-oh, here comes the car, too. Ride straight up and around and bumpy, bumpy, the bumpy. The car is coming. We get to the pull-off, and it says no overnight camping. So they must have, some for, in some time, stopped it, because on Google Maps, there's campers here. So I guess BLM has changed their mind, and that's no longer a thing, or the National Forest. At this point, I'm not sure what it is, but... Uh, These roads are terrible. Anyway, thank God. It's still light outside, and now I get to try to find a campground to stay at because now I'm afraid of any of the other boondock spots that said person also gave us coordinates for because, yeah, I don't want to do this again. So we dropped the camper and went down some roads to see if we can get out the other way. See if any of them were any better. I'm going to tell you what. I'm glad we stopped where we did because there were some of them I thought we'd roll the camper over. Well, on uh, the other roads, some of them were shorter. At, like it was a shorter distance out. <laughs> they were really, really, really bad. I'll put it on Google Maps where we are so you guys make sure you don't come here. I suggest you <laughs> not do it, especially with a 45-foot camper and um, 80 gallons of water in your tank. Yeah. Wish us luck, guys. We're headed down the hill it's a little scary i'm not gonna lie reno reno we're in reno so reno our, nevada so our trip out west wasn't all for just bowling in vegas we made a special trip over here to reno so we could meet our friends in person from dragonfly energy they are the ones that uh Produce are, the batteries are giving us the energy to sleep off grid <laughs> right and be off grid so if if you're a keystone owner and your rig has come with some sort of solar and it has batteries if you opted to have them delivered with your rig um dragonflies what's going to be this is where they're board. coming from so we got to take a tour today of how their batteries all come together was so it neat did you like it it was really cool and it was a lot more um there was a lot more human hands on than what i expected there to be so there's a lot of, of quality control qual lots of quality control um multiple stations that if this one didn't catch it the next one will or the next one will or the next there's one so will. many initials on those batteries and and so many people building. signing off via uh, some of them are computer checks some of them are you know human checks but there's a lot of work still going into these that is hand done by human beings which is impressive to me it says a lot so if you're ever in this area i guess they do tours to i'm sure they would so uh you could reach out or just stop by and see I, I don't know what the process is we reached out when we knew we were coming so there's that but uh yeah it was it was a very informative we learned a lot and I was really impressed by the workmanship and the craftsmanship that goes into them. So now we're going to go back to our campground and maybe we'll do a little tour, a little video tour of the campground that we found. At a casino. It's a cool little campground. We found it on well, the spur of the moment too. Quick. It was kind of an accident. <laughs> it wasn't an accident we found it. It was an accident we had to find it because if you saw where we were trying to boondock before, that rig wasn't going to get up. It didn't work. I guess the rig got we there. Got but we got there. Go. But BLM has been shutting down a lot of their properties for overnight camping um, because people aren't taking care of the land. Come on, so, guys, help us out. That's why we want this solar and we want these batteries to go very, to BLM land. So it's we very need to sad. take care of it. It's very sad that it's there and the views are there and the ability to stay is there, but they're having to shut it down because the human race is not taking care of things. So I won't get up on my soapbox, but. If you're one of those folks out there not taking care of things, come on, let's let's take care of it so that we can all enjoy that. So we made it to the place. It was a rough ride to let's, have to turn around and leave because the sign said no. Overnight now camping. it's time to enjoy the 50 amps, the three ACs. Go suck up running some major water. AC. Flush those tanks really good. All right, guys, we'll see you at the campground. <laughs> Probably saw the bad experience.
experience from yesterday. Bad. I, I consider that one of my worst feelings ever, pulling this camper. I think we already talked a little bit about that somebody gave us a boondocking spot, some coordinates, and apparently it used to be a spot to boondock, but there's been some changes recently to uh, camping spots that are BLM because people aren't taking care of things. I can't stress enough that we need to do a better job, folks, or there's not going to be any place for us to boondock. So, with that being said... We had to spend money. We frantically had to try to find a place to park. She called four or five different places yesterday. And, and it was after five, so what that means is nobody's people answering weren't the answering the phones. And even online reservations, the ones I found that you could do that, uh, well, they when I clicked on it, it would show availability and then it would say call, which means probably they didn't have availability or it was very limited, so they were making you call and then when you would call, nobody was there. So Now remember, all of this, and we're still looking for two sites. Right, 45 two, seats, foot long. two, two not, spots that are 45 foot in length. Yeah, not just a 35 footer kind of blew my budget because you know I try to stay as cheaply oh, as I can. You blew your budget. Thank God we have a lot of boondocking days built in to bring that number down a little bit as an average. And thank goodness we have other memberships like Good Sam's and all that because that helped too. This place did offer a Good Sam's discount which is 10% um, which basically pays for taxes. But it doesn't pay for the resort fee. It doesn't pay for the processing fee. And it doesn't pay for right. the, all the other little fees. The campsite was only $45. Right. So the site was only $45, which isn't so bad, except the only place I could find that was still answering the phone and taking reservations after 5 o'clock was a resort. It was a casino. It was the Grand Sierra Resort. And let me just say, it was a nice campground. It, the, uh, sites were all paved they were all pulled through pretty much the whole place was all paved there was a little bit of uh there was a little small area between sites that was uh bushes and stuff the only planted. complaint that we heard or saw online is that you are in the flight path of the reno airport which doesn't that bother, bother me a bit because he's a plane freak i just going to stare at the planes all day long so if you don't like planes you don't like the noise you don't want to camp there but the resort fee was like $25. I don't have my receipt in front of me. It was $20 some dollars uh, in addition to the $45 a night to stay there. Now, if you were staying there because you wanted to go to the casino and you were taking advantage of that, maybe that wouldn't have been so bad because you did have full access to the casino, the restaurants, uh, the, the pool, pool, the, hot, the tub. hot tub, everything at that resort you had access to. In the RV park, they had a really nice laundry facility. Everything was very clean. The staff was very friendly. All in all, they had something else that was pretty cool that I've never seen before. They had a driving range that you hit it into the pond and then the pond had little boats out there that had like little buckets islands and they called them they had little buckets that you can hit them in so so you tried to hit them into the buckets if you missed it went into the pond and we're pretty sure it was I, like a retention pond i do have a question though if somebody can hopefully answer this question how did they get the balls out because there was a lot of balls when i walked in there on the ground so there's got to be some kind of thing somebody that they out there can run through there somebody out there scuba diving and you know like the barracuda them. thing you run in your pool to suck the trash up off the bottom if you know let me know because i'm kind of curious it's got to be something and like they were that. closed when i went over there another today and i could ask how they got them out but anyway it was a cool place um we went in the casino and had dinner one night or into the resort and everything in the resort was very clean it was, it was a nice it was place it was kind of on the outskirts so it wasn't downtown reno so navigating was right off the interstate so it wasn't bad it was easy in easy out pull through sites didn't have like it was quiet there everybody that we came in contact with was very friendly so aside from the resort fee we really liked it there wasn't the views that we would have had if we'd have been able to boondock like we had planned but it is what it is. So today we are going to start heading out, going up north a little bit. Headed north to come And I looked east. at the weather today, and the high is 83, <sighs> and the low 40 tonight, something, 45 right? degrees in July. So now, this is the kind of weather I'm talking about. It kind of puts a smile on my face. I get out of that nasty, hot heat. But we're going to a um, another harvest host. And I don't know if we talked about why we were in Reno. 
we discuss that yet? Maybe. For those of you that know, we have solar, right? And upgraded our solar recently. And what that meant was upgrading our batteries, which we did discuss. However, most of the people that we deal with on a day-to-day, -day, most of the RV all companies or products or pro company, product companies, whatever the right word is, um, vendors, most of our partners are with companies that are in Indiana. I mean, it's the RV capital, so that's where it is. I don't think Reno could be almost any farther away. But that. the Dragonfly batteries and or Battleborn batteries, they are headquartered in Reno, Nevada. So since we were coming west, we came a little further than Vegas so that we could go by and meet with the folks at Dragonfly and tour their facility and see just how the batteries were made. So I'm sure this guy will be making a video to tell you that guy out there to, to show you that. But I will give you a teaser that I was really impressed and shocked at the way those batteries come together so there's that and we're gonna head on north now and then back east to indiana and let indiana me throw again he doesn't know anything about this but let me throw a plug in that i have on my rec pro shirt today because one of the things we're getting from rec pro is new furniture in the fusion but we've been waiting for the new color. It's called Gunmetal Gray to come out. Um, I love the light furniture that's in our rig, but it is light. <laughs> so it shows everything. If the dog jumps up, if your feet are dirty, and it wipes off really well, but um, looking forward to having still gray, which will match our rig, but it's called Gunmetal Gray. It's a little darker. So when we get back to Indiana, the gunmetal gray furniture has arrived. I got an email yesterday that they've got it all in stock now. So I'm super stoked for my Rec Pro shirt today. I also got good news for you guys that we have been negotiating with Rec Pro for a while now. They used to only give us 5% off for you guys for, for one your order. first purchase. After you first purchase, it was done. So we've been working with them and working with them and working with them. So now every purchase that you make, and our link is going to be in the you got to go to our out. link, but if you go to you our link... You have to use the link, you'll get 5% off every single order from here on out. So, they have basically everything you guys need. I was going to say, I let's mean, recap. They have furniture, they have dog awnings, bones, they have awning, air they have parts, they have water pumps. Basically, if you need it Pretty on an much RV... if it's an RV part, they got it. I mean, you know, they're not going to have, like, walls or anything. They're not going to have our Morad independent suspension. You've got to go to Morad for that. But. Right. But, like, aftermarket parts, replacement parts, even down to, like, the little screen that covers where your um, Hot water, water tank, tank or... you know, water heater, the exhaust for that, the exhaust for your heater, the little screens. I mean, everything down to that. So, um, if you're in need of anything like that and you want to get 5% off... they ship... Same day, Same day if you get your order in if before in 11 stock. and free shipping. I'm not sure about the shipping of furniture. That might be a whole different game. But for most, you know, like your smaller pieces, parts, it's free shipping. So remember, we have the 5% link down below. So every time you order and their products on their website are cheaper than their products on Amazon because Amazon charges them money. So you'll save money by going to their website. You'll save money by using our code. Like I said, our code is in the bottom. So and free shipping. It's a win-win. And same day ship if they have it in stock. So that's my little plug. I was just feeling pretty excited about Rec Pro today because the email came in late last night on my phone and I was pretty excited about it. So. All right, so we're headed to the, to the Harvest Host right now. We're going to do a video when we get there, show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully we make it there in time because this is a It's a restaurant. Drive. It's a long drive day. It's a restaurant. They close at 9. The goal is to be there by 6.37 at the latest. So fingers crossed well, that we Montana, make that. Montana, here we come. That's yes. what, this is what we've been waiting for and looking for, getting yes. up to Montana. So Here we go.